Hello and welcome to this demo of Rexray that gives you data persistence with containers. Today we're going to show you a demo of Rexray together with Marathon and Mesos. We're going to deploy two different databases, Postgres and Redis, with a data persistence backend that is being managed by Rexray. As you can see here, we got a Mesos setup with no tasks running, and we have Marathon with no applications running. So let's start with deploying a Postgres database. As you can see here, we have a Postgres manifest for Marathon. We're giving it the ID Postgres, uh, the image Postgres. We have a port that it's answering on. And then we give it a volume driver called Rexray. Uh, this is for Docker to make sure that we have proper data persistence. Then we give it a volume to make sure that we actually store our data properly. We give it some environment variables to make sure that we store the data in the correct location. And we also give it a password to make sure that we can connect to it properly. Last but not least, we give it an argument, which is Postgres, so we can actually start the database. We send this JSON file up to our Marathon environment, and within seconds you will see Postgres actually being deployed. What's happening in the background now is that we're starting a container, but we're also mapping a volume in the backing storage system to this container. That data volume is then being used to store all the Postgres data. After a few seconds, you can see that the Postgres database is started and now we can actually connect to it. Let's create a database. We'll uh, create a uh, table as well, and we'll uh, fill it with uh, some information. In this case, just a first name and a city. This is my first name and where I'm currently located. Let's select from this database table, and we can see that we actually have data stored and it's being persisted down onto a volume. As you can see, we also have a JSON file for this Redis service. I'm going to give it a name called Redis. I'm going to use the official container image Redis, map a port to it, give it the volume driver Rexray again, and then a volume for slash data to store our data in there. We're also going to give it some arguments to actually start the Redis service in a persistent mode. We'll push out this uh, JSON file up to our Marathon environment again. And in just a few seconds, you will see that the uh, Redis database is actually deploying. And after a few seconds again, you can see that it's actually started. So same thing here as with the Postgres container. We're actually creating a volume that we attach to the container that we're going to be using for the persistent data for Redis. Now it's started. So let's connect to it and actually store some data. This is very basic data. It's a great hello world example but data nonetheless. Now you can see that we have two applications. We got Postgres and we got uh, Redis. Postgres is currently running on Mesos Node 1 and Redis is currently running on Mesos Node 2. So since we have a backing data store that is actually available to more than just one host, we're going to see what happens here if we shut down the host that Postgres is currently running on. We're now shutting down Mesos Node 1 with our container running on it. After a few seconds, you will see that the uh, Postgres uh, instance has actually gone away and it will restart on another node. So here it is, restarting on Mesos node 2 and reattaching the same volume that we had before. So reattaching the volume where we actually store the Postgres data. So let's connect to it and verify that our data is still there. I'm going to connect to the right database. We can see we have a data table. So let's select from it and see that we get some data. So there we go. This is an example of a persistent data store for containers that is persistent across hosts. So same container, same volume, 
different host. So now we have both Postgres and Redis running on Mesos node 2. We still have one more Mesos node. So let's shut down Mesos node 2 as well and see what happens with both Postgres and Redis when they move over to the last Mesos node. As before, it takes a few seconds for it to realize that the node is gone. But after that, it restarts the container again on another node, reattaching the same volume. So let's reconnect to it and see what it looks like. This is on a new host and a new port. We can see that we still get the same data. What about Postgres? It's been moving from node 1 to node 2 and now node 3. Do we still have the same data available? Let's do our select again. And there you have it. So as you can see, we now have data persistence across multiple container hosts. And we can leverage awesome container management systems like Mesos and Marathon to schedule our containers and make sure that they are always up and running with the correct volume attached to it. If you want to know more about Rexray, you can find everything about the project on GitHub. Just head over to github.com slash emccode slash Rexray. We're looking forward to your pull requests. Thank you for watching and hope you try this out soon.